Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Club Passim. What a thrill it is to be here, actually live at actually Club Passim. Uh, it's a strange thing these days to have something in the room, but we are so excited for tonight's show. Let me just tell you a little bit about what we've had going on at Club Passim, or at, at Passim.org, anyway. We've had streaming shows every night of the week. We've had our School of Music classes and workshops happening online. We've had our festivals all move online as well. Uh, we've reopened the Passim Emergency Artist Relief Fund, where artists can get grants to help with their living expenses. Uh, over Labor Day, we're going to reopen our application process for the Iguana Music Fund grants. And keep an eye out. We've been having some of our outreach series happening online here and there. Um, we've been closed now since the middle of March, and we've had a couple of events right here in the club live streaming. We've tried to up our streaming game, getting better audio, getting better video. You're going to be treated to a two-camera shot tonight. That's right, folks. Two cameras. Uh, we are high tech. Um, we are, are so excited to be here. If you don't know about Passim, we've been around here in Harvard Square for over 60 years. We've been a nonprofit organization for the past 25 of those years, and we could use your help during these times. Uh, we've been trying to get music out to folks. We've been trying to get money out to artists for their work, and we can only do it with the help of folks like you. Making donations, we have a suggested donation tonight of a $40 uh, ticket price, and uh, we have had Lori McKenna in this room performing shows for about 23 years now. And she has a brand new record that is out today that we're celebrating. And we're so, so honored and thrilled to be able to welcome to the Club Passim stage, Lori McKenna. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt Smith. I don't know how to talk to the internet, so this is going to be interesting. Because I like to talk a lot, you know. We're going to run through this record. So happy you guys are here. She has a rough side, but she buries all the scars. And the freedom of a child in the midnight dark. All the cooking rolls will only lead you home. This town. church parking lot She knows where you go when you want to be alone This town is a woman Never asked for every curve She took you in, she gave you nerves She whispered all those dreams in your ear the Son and the Holy Ghost. She knows things about you nobody else knows. This town is a woman. Never asked for every curve. She took you in, she gave you nerve. She whispered all those dreams in your Tell her she's to blame From the freeway down to the sugar cane 
Macarelli right there filling in for Karen Fairchild and Kimberly Schlappman and the whole band. <laughs> so uh, I'm so happy you're here with me, Mark. Thank you for doing this. All right. We have a, 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 a tiny little audience of family and dear friends here, and we're so thankful for all you guys watching online on your phones, on your televisions, that you figured out how to get from your computer to your television. I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> smart TV. <laughs> All I those smart TV are. people. <laughs> You're amazing. And we're going to sing you the record, The Balladeer. This is a song, uh, The Balladeer, that I started mostly because I just like the word The Balladeer, and I saw it somewhere one night, um, and it just hit me, and I thought, oh, that's what I do. I I sing slow songs all the time. <laughs> and um, I should try to write a song called The Balladeer. And so when I sat down to write it, um, right away this sort of character popped up. And character songs are so fun to write because you can sort of find yourself in them and then they go off on their own. And you sort of, um, because of rhyming, you have to sort of, you know, their story will come out in a rhyme sometimes for you. And I was lucky enough that this one did. And here's The Balladeer. Balladeer waits in the wings Tugging on a dress tune in her strings All the whiskey faded cigarette bone dreams She brings herself to her own knees With every line so delicate She sings every song that she knows The way that she hears them sad and slow they're never gonna play her on the radio So she hangs in the darkest bars With downtrodden, bleeding hearts Her guitar man never knew all the chords Said he needed her to help him find the words The balladeer never loved anybody more It was magic, but she worried what if she ran out of the pain she carried round with her so proud She wore it like a queen wears a crown She didn't know who she'd be if she put it down So he brought her to the river where she could wash the trouble from her heart and let it shine like gold Felt like angels pouring mercy on her soul and the weight of the world she let it go and she sang for the first time with her head held high and so much pride it opened up new notes in her throat and there was joy in every new song she wrote that got a bus and traveled coast to coast their friends and strangers and business people called to say that she was finally headed for the stars or at least the top of the charts they changed their clothes and bought fancy cars so the guitar man got the eye of a pretty background singer with the blue
took the next flight home And the ballad dear wrote herself a song About broken heart of dreamers Who are searching for something they'll never find I'm not going to talk about this one. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it because I have to sing it. So we're just going to sing it. That's what we're going to do. Across my pillow, ask her if she was sleeping. Try to keep her from her sleep. We had a picture on the wall of a baby angel in a golden crown. When the world came tumbling down on me and the world. God knows we couldn't be more different. The two of us cut from the same cloth. One end must be velvet soft, the other denim and gabardine. We were Sunday morning church, assigned seats at the dinner table. Four older brothers raising a little bit of hell than me and the rain. She looks more like a mother, she's prettier and softer. She always helps me find my way I've been lost a time or two She knows bigger words than I do But we both got the same size shoes No one's ever walked in mine but me He set us down and said your mama's died And he took me years to realize She wasn't out getting groceries I was waiting on a resurrection Saved by my disposition A grandfather crying in the kitchen Couldn't bear the sight of me and She looks more like our mother She's prettier and so and she always helps me find my way I've been lost a time or two She knows bigger words than I do but we both got the same size shoes No one's ever walked in mine but me Blessed us all with children We're a pretty tight family Baby angels framed in my writing room And I stare at him some afternoons Must have known he had a job to do Watching over me and Marie Thank you, thank you, thank you Thank you guys. 
That's a song about my big sister, Marie, who's sitting in this room of very <laughs> few people. <laughs> with very few people in it. But Marie's here, which is important and amazing. And thank you for... <laughs> but it's like, I can't, like, look. I can't. to establish a drinking game <laughs> but I it's not too late I mean we still could I, I think I missed a couple of them already but we were gonna do a drinking game where if I said the word kitchen you took a drink or back porch or what were my other words kitchen overtime oh, yeah, is, yeah. is a big one on this yeah, record yeah. town um, hometown town Any, a street street yeah. sign yeah bleachers high school Y'all be hammered by the end, is what would happen. But we'll that's why that's the <laughs> <laughs> But then we'd be, we, why not, well, hey, it'd be a lot. After, well, count. Somebody start counting now. We'll see how we do. We'll see how, how, we, how we go from there on. I had a dream last night That the two of you met You were sitting side by side Talking like old friends He looked just like I remember Wearing that coat from 85 You were smiling like you are right now All free and full of wild I had a dream last night That the two of you met He was telling you a story I'm not sure which one it was Using his hands to mark out something Maybe the size of his love He never really spelled that out When he was down here on the ground But it's all right there in between the words And I can hear it clearly now I had a dream last night that the two of you to let go and what to hold and if you mention life is short well that's because you know I had a dream last night that the two of you met yeah he was something he was one of a kind he would have loved him if he was born this time Somewhere in your eyes Between heaven and earth It's a damn long Damn long view. Oh, it's a damn long view side by side talking like old friends
um, I had to put my pick down. <laughs> I'm trying to play this about a pick, which is super stressful for me because I like my pick. It's like my security blanket, but I'm going to try. And when I'm writing, uh, mostly when I'm writing at home, al almost always, I, I don't use a pick. And, um, but I don't have, I, I just, I have a stage issue. When a stage is involved, I need a pick. But I'm going to be brave and, and try it. This is usually the point in the show where I will ask the audience, how are you doing? Great. I'm glad that we are good. Thank you for, um, I guess you could leave a comment and tell me how you're doing, but I can't see the comments. Is there comments? P people can leave comments, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So if you want to tell the rest of the people that can read the comments how you're feeling right now and how you're doing, go for it. I wrote this song last summer um, for a friend that was going through um, a hard, a little bit of a hard journey, and, um, and she um, is very strong, very strong person, and um, and I could tell that she didn't want to burden her friends with what was going on, and she has since gotten through said journey, and everything is great. Um, but in the in the moment where where she was having these issues, um, sort of all these things out of her control, um, I kept sort of chasing her, like calling her and, and chasing her, and um, telling her, "You can, you know, we should talk. You should, you're okay. Like, you know, if you want to talk, if you just want to talk to me, I'm here." So I wrote this song, and I didn't play it for her for the longest time, but um, I played it for her once or twice since then. Um, and it is a song about a friend just reaching out to another friend and saying. I know I can't solve your problem, but I'm here if you want to just talk to somebody about it. And it's a song called Uphill. When the road under your feet is dark and feels wrong you find yourself lost and all your confidence is gone and the stars above your head through the clouds won't be revealed I'll walk with you even if it's uphill when the weight of your troubles sends your knees into the dirt and all your loyal distractions only magnify when lonesome doesn't quite describe how so alone you feel I'll walk with you even if it's uphill Hard times and landslides a part of life I know Like they say none of us get out alive Whatever Swimming across however valley low Whatever mountains you climb I'll walk with you Even if it's uphill Blessed are the times filled with sun Surrounded by your friends those days when all the new roads wait right where the old roads end. But should you wake up to every stride outside your windowsill, I'll walk with you even if it's uphill. Hard times and landslides about a life, God knows we all got some mountains to climb. Whatever ocean you're swimming across, however valley low, I'm right here. I've been right here all this time. And I'll walk with you, even if it's uphill. I'll walk with you, even if it's uphill. Oh, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Side A, right? That's side A of the record, I think. It right? Is. Okay. Um, so turn your rec record over. <laughs> Take a drink, turn your record over. It's just water. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you can see, the bottle was a gift and it does say my name on it, so um, it was very sweet. It tastes, it tastes really um, like something you should drink when you sing, too, so I might have a sip in a minute. <laughs> so this next song I wrote with Liz Rose and Hillary Lindsay in Nashville, Tennessee one day. It started with a conversation that I had with my husband, Gene McKenna, um, who works at the gas company, and he... Um, he called me one afternoon to tell me that he was going to be working late and I was, he's been, we've been married for 31 years or something like that and he's been working at the gas company for like 29 years or something like that and he called to say that he was working late and I, and I was like still working overtime, there he, there's Gene McKenna still working overtime <laughs> and, um, and then it just got me thinking about like all the things that you know you're still um, doing um, good and bad because it's worth it in a, in a relationship. And I have learned as, I, I, as I've been getting older that these things that sometimes are your most difficult things in a relationship can get you to um, the next beautiful place. So that's what the, the idea for Good Fight started and I brought it to Liz and Hillary and had a ball writing this one with them. Hillary sings on it with me on the record. And um, it might be one of the fastest songs I've ever recorded. I'm not sure. Maybe there's one faster or two, but um, it's not a ballad, so that's quite remarkable, really. Still, too angry to go to bed. Splitting the last three bears that we had left in the fridge. Don't try to kiss me yet, cause I ain't over it. Whatever you do, don't make me laugh, cause you ain't gonna win. Your need touches mine And I can't help but smile Still making a long drive Still working on overtime Still staying on the night Sorry Even in the great divide Still staying up all night Holding on till we make it right Still fine
Can't let it resolve. It's got to have a little. No. <laughs> that was brilliant because I went to the four and Mark went to the one, and that's what he was supposed to do. But when I make a mistake, I look at Mark as if he's made a mistake. It's this look that I've crafted over the past 20 years. I went triumphantly to the one, too. It was just like. Because you had confidence in me. I saw it in your eyes. You, you had confidence in me, and you thought I knew what I was doing. I always do. Always have I, sometimes I don't know if you do, but that time you did, and you I were did. wrong. <laughs> I got burned. <laughs> oh, but I could see the hope that was there. It was really sweet of you. It's good. I haven't lost it all yet. <laughs> um, we've never played these songs before. This is the first time. <laughs> this is the first time. Um, so, and it's so nice to be in this room and. Thank you, Matt, for having us in my beloved home away from home. And for getting me this uh, McKenna alcohol. Oh, is that what that is? That's for me? For me, that's slow. Wow. Yeah, that's... Uh, Did you try it? I just... <laughs> it's really good, I think. Yeah. What is it? Is it, it's, uh, is it a whiskey? Yeah. yeah. It's a whiskey. Mm. That's, That's what they mean about the burn. The, that burn I've been writing about all this time. Yeah. This is it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was putting together some Ikea furniture earlier today. I could have used some of this. Would have helped. You're supposed to chase it with something, right? Is a beer? Is that what a beer? What is a chase? What is a standard chaser? I'm not going to do it. I'm just asking. Like a standard beer. beer. Okay. That would just be a lot of problems. How did you do with your IKEA furniture? It's all. It's all put together. Good job. I meant to ask you about that. It's not my first Swedish rodeo, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> oh, that's right. I've I've put together my share of IKEA furniture. I'm sure. Um, I hope everybody out there is good. I hope you're putting up with me. Thank you so much um, for doing so, if you are. Um, I live in a, in a town called Stoughton, Massachusetts, beautiful Stoughton, Massachusetts, 20 miles south of Boston, where I get my southern twang. I started sort of faking a southern accent a long time ago when I started recording because my Stoughton accent was so thick that I wasn't pronouncing most words correctly, or at least some. Um, so when I started singing in order to get those R's and letters I had been avoiding all this time, I ended up with a bit of a, a southern accent, which I um, just I, I wear all the time. It's just, I, I enjoy it. <laughs> But um, but I am a I am a townie, and uh, my husband and I live in the town that we grew up in. And this past year, or was it the year before? Perhaps Julie would know. Um, they the uh, the high school that we went to um, was removed, and a and a new one um, is in its in it is in its place. And um, watching that watching that building come down over the course of a summer as they were building the new one, just watching it come down piece by piece, inspired this song about how I am a little bit stuck in high school. And so here it is. One, two, three, I'll be the first to admit I'm a little stuck in high school. I rose colored those memories with drugstore sunglasses. I never liked warm beer or cigarettes. I 
liked watching the smoke clear the high school fence. I am a self described black sheep. Self described means dinner. Raised by the village of my peers in the back seats of used cars. It took a long time for my feet to reach the floor. But when they finally did, I was ready for the world. Cause you get in the cradle, you keep till the grave. Some good men may be born, they say the better ones are made. So you try on every shoe and you stand in every shadow. Hope you find yourself somewhere between the first few and the back row. But you're always carrying around that kid. These pictures in the hallway, 18 and graduating. Did you ever make those dreams come true? Or is the kid still waiting? In my daddy's kitchen If he was scared he'd never tell But I sure as hell did listen And it don't matter how many prayers Ever came off my lips I still learned how to curse Just like he did But you get in the cradle You keep till the grave Some good man may be born They say the better ones are made So you try on every shoe Stand in every shadow you Find yourself somewhere Between the first few And the back row Always carrying around that key Switchers in the hallway Eighteen and graduating Did you ever make those dreams come true? Or is the kid still waiting? Is the kid still waiting? I'm a little stuck in high school. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, see, I like the four. It's my favorite. I remembered halfway through that song that my dad has these, um, has our graduation pictures. I'm in August of six, and, and he has our graduation pictures lined up in the in the living room in order, you know, Bobby Donald, Richie David, Marie, Laurie. And um and it did occur to me one day <laughs> when I was looking at all those kids up there. The whole idea of what we tell ourselves then and or what we promise ourselves then and what we what what would we tell that kid now? So Haircuts are pretty interesting in those photos, especially the 70s, the ones back in the 70s. Not that the 80s were, <laughs> actually not, <laughs> I'm looking at Marie like, oh yeah, the 80s pretty tough too with the hair. <laughs> I worked a long time on my hair in the 80s, I know that, <laughs> that one little. Wait a minute, did, what? You're right. <laughs> Let me say it on the microphone. That, You're right. That has never, okay, that deserves a drinking game right there. <laughs> if you want to stay sober, that's your drinking game. The one time Laurie's right. <laughs> that's great. Um, I think I'm here though, right? You are. Okay. You are. Yeah. I'll tell a story. Um, so this next song I wrote again with Liz Rose and Hillary Lindsay, and I, um, I did start it at home a little bit. I had the first verse, a little bit of the little bit of the last verse in there. Um, and I could not for the life of me find a chorus <laughs> to this song. The song started with David Letterman um, interviewing Howard Stern on a show that I saw. And David Letterman says to Howard Stern, 
you know, we, they're talking about the world, and David Letterman says, uh, my son's 14 years old, what's the world going to be like when he's my age? And it just struck me, and I wrote down, when you're my age, and got the first verse, and then over, like, the course of, of a month, a little bit of the, of the last verse, and still I couldn't figure out how to make it, believe it or not, I couldn't figure out how to make it even as happy as it is. I think I was going even sadder. And sometimes I'll even be able to stop myself like, no, no, no one ever wants to hear this. So um, I brought it to Liz and Hillary. I brought them, I sang them the first verse one afternoon um, after we had already written a song together. And I was like, hey, will you guys help me with this? And I played them the first verse. And Hillary was like, no, 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 no. Like, you need to do that yourself. That's just like, that's a Lari song. Just... And Liz started singing the chorus. Um, and we just, you know, she just fell into it and started singing it. And we still didn't know how to end it. I didn't ever think to go back to when you're my age. I didn't ever think to go back to that line for the hook of the song. And then Hillary said, well, you could say, you know, you're always going to be my baby even when you're my age. And she was kind of rolling her eyes at herself. <laughs> and as soon as she said it, we were like, what? What did you say? <laughs> and, um, and then we all just started, we sang it, and then we all just started crying. And Liz has uh, three children and two grandchildren. Hillary has a four-year-old little baby, and I have five children all over the place. So we each find ourselves as moms in this song. Um, and I was so happy that I got to write it with Liz and Hillary. I was so glad that they came in the studio and sang it with me. Um, we all just cried and um, and we wrote the song for each other and for um and for ourselves and this is when you're my age Then it seems to be right now And I hope the front page Isn't just a reminder Of how we keep Letting each other down When I was your age Things didn't seem to be this hard Riding bikes out on the street Playing tag in the backyard You'll outgrow your shoes You'll outgrow your bed You'll outgrow this house Just don't forget When you're all grown up But you don't feel that way you're still gonna be my baby Even when you're my age When you're my age you're still be full of I had the answers to right now And those dark times Might make you second guess it But I bet love will still be Making the world go round When I was your age I didn't worry like I think you do Back then innocence was something we could hold on to You'll outgrow your shoes You'll outgrow your bits You'll outgrow this house Just don't forget when you're all grown up But you don't feel that way you're still gonna be my baby 
bed at night Like my daddy did for me And his mother before him Well, something about it just keeps you right And I hope you don't work too much overtime Right there beside them when they close their little eyes. Cause they'll outgrow their shoes, they'll outgrow their beds, they'll outgrow that house. And you can't stop it. Life will line your face. Time will. They're still gonna be your babies Just like you're still gonna be my babies Even when you're my Thank you, thank you. Songs. Songs. <laughs> thank you, Marcarelli. You're amazing. <laughs> amazing, Marcarelli. Just literally happy to be here. Him too. Um, again, thank you um, so much, you guys, for letting us just crash in here and, and set up. And everyone's been so careful and so, um, you know, just sympathetic to everybody else's um, space and needs. And it's just been awesome hanging out here this afternoon. And we missed it for sure. Um, And releasing the record, I thought, I couldn't think of a better place, honestly, to, um, to just sing, sing this record down for you. It's been, we recorded this um, early last winter uh, in Nashville. Dave Cobb produces it, this record for me again. Um, so this is the third record I've made with Dave and, and the band that, um, that he uses and, um, and these remarkable guys, um, Brian Allen on bass and Chris Powell on drums and Philip Towns on piano and Dave Cobb on, on everything else. And, and we just had a ball um, just exploring these songs and putting them all together. And it just seems like a whole, it seems like a million years ago and, it, and yesterday kind of at the same time. <laughs> like my, 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 um, my sense of time is not as strong as it used to be um, in all this. It definitely um, lost some sense of time. But this was a, a newer song to the batch, maybe one of the newest songs that were written um, before we went in to cut this record. And I wrote it again. Uh, it's a Love Junkie song. I wrote it with Liz and Hillary. And uh, it just started with the title, which is you know the idea of twisting two birds, one stone, into a love triangle of, of sorts. This one's called Two Birds. one from our west didn't waste a minute with her heart the other was a bloomberg careful with her sweet words unless she let you hold her in the dark they fell for him one at a time for a silver tongue to pick up lines so easily they flew into the cave Till 
the song so wild and free The others sang at the kitchen sink He longed for the melody of gold He wasn't cruel, he wasn't mean But he had a way of breaking things His aim was true than an arrow from a bow Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. One more song on the record. Last song, Side B. You guys are the best for hanging out with me, for, um, for listening, for supporting music, supporting live music, supporting clubs, like this magical place that we have here in Club Passim. Um, we appreciate you so much. It's always, um, it's always such a pleasure to be in this room because there's been so much um, history made and music made in these walls and it's just it, it's magical and um, and Boston has such a great community of people that take care of musicians as well as musicians so we thank you guys for all that so very much over the years um, thank you to all the music fans that have logged on today and this evening and uh, wherever you are in the world and I hope you all are taking care of each other and taking care of yourselves and um, doing the, the very best that you can in all of this. Thank you to Mark Arelli for... <laughs> I made the whiskey face when I had a sip of wine, but I didn't need the whiskey face. <laughs> but now I have a whiskey face, which is good. I didn't have one of those before, so <laughs> I learned something new. Um, thank you, Mark Arelli, for learning all these songs so... Um, well for me and teaching me some of them myself um, um, and he's he's brilliant Mark really is brilliant he's always sta he's always standing to my left whenever I need him and uh, is a true friend and a great person a great singer songwriter has has a new record out that just came out a couple of months ago called blindsided blindsided on vinyl as well it's mm -hmm. got my own copy <laughs> And it's, um, it's a great record. Um, you won't cry nearly as many times as you might for the balladeer, but you'll be able to dance in the kitchen and do all the other fun things. You could make a drinking game up, I'm sure, listening to that record as well. Um, so if you missed a sip, um, I'll just say a couple words for you now. Kitchen, back porch, street light, uh, daddy. There's daddy in here a couple of times. Bleachers, bleachers. Bleachers, um, high school. 
Uh, everyone toast yourselves. Um, uh, thank you all so very much. Thank you to Matt Smith for having me this evening and taking care of me so much, as you always do. And to Abby, the brilliant Abby that just makes all of this, all of this magic happen. I'm so glad that my family got to come and our friends got to come. And thank you for, um, for just being here with us because we, our songs mean the world to us, but they don't really mean anything unless you guys are listening. So we're so happy that you logged on tonight. We're so happy that you came out tonight and um, or sat in your backyard or wherever you are um, just to listen to my little sad songs. But thank you so much. Um, the record's out. It's called The Balladeer. We're going to sing you the last song on the record, and then we're going to let you go um, find something happy to listen to. <laughs> Um, but thank you all so much again. Um, this song started um, with my daughter, Megan. She just graduated high school this year. And she came home. She came home from school one day last year. And she was just exhausted from school. And she walked in. I could just see the look on her face. And I was like, what's up? And she said, that B2 hallway is killing me. And in the old Stone High School, the B2 hallway was the, one, was the main hallway that sort of wa went out to the, to the gym side of the school where the, one of the parking lots, the offices over there. That it's kind of like the main hallway that you, you see when you walk in. And I know that hallway really well. <laughs> I suddenly could just like picture myself walking down that hallway and I literally could see like Patty Moore standing outside her algebra class <laughs> next to the girls you know, room and home ec and all these things. Um, and it just occurred to me that Megan was in a rush and she, um, she probably needed to slow down a little bit because all this stuff goes by really fast. So I wrote her this song and I sang it in my iPhone and I texted it to her. And she was standing next to me in the kitchen and I said, kitchen, um, and I said, <laughs> one more, kitchen, uh, and I said, uh, I just texted you a song. If you don't like it, I won't play it. And she went upstairs to listen, and she came back down, and she said, you can play it. It's okay. So uh, this one's called Till You Grown, and thank you all so much, so very much again for hanging out. Smoking won't seem so cool. The little white church won't feel so big. This town won't look so small As soon as you ain't still a kid That high school hall won't be so long You won't want to get down it so fast Working a Saturday won't kill you Friday night won't be all you have You'll understand when you're older And get out there on your own time really flies it ain't fair don't see it till you grow oh, don't see it till you so short running away won't look like a cure to anything that really hurts that breakup ain't gonna break you it's gonna sting a while no doubt and that tattoo will be stupid you think you're lucky stars that you chickened out you'll understand when you're older have children of your time really flies it ain't fair. you don't see it till you grow oh, oh, oh. don't see it 
Jenna. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, so much. Love y'all. Thank you. That's Lori McKenna and Mark Arelli. You can pick up that brand new record, The, Va the Ballad Ear, uh, here where you see the links online. Uh, please do make sure you support Lori and her music. What an absolute thrill it is to have music in this room once again. Uh, thanks to the folks that were able to come out here and join us. Thanks to Lori and Mark for an incredible night of music. Please do make sure you also make a donation to Passim if you can. You can go to passim.org slash stream and make a donation towards this show. Lori has donated all the proceeds to help us keep open um, for, uh, for the time being while we're just presenting music streaming, but also for the future when we're able to have folks in the room again. We're so thrilled to be able to present this to you tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you again tomorrow night.